Hi, my name is David P. Shapiro. I'm the owner and managing partner of the law office of David P. Shapiro, located in San Diego, California, where my firm helps good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. The other day, we had someone try and negotiate with us on you know, what we were charging for, for this individual to speak to one of our attorneys at the firm. And it was a, um, you know, it was a case evaluation fee where we sometimes, depending on the case, depending on certain situations, will ask that the potential client put forward a small deposit that obviously would roll into the retainer agreement if we move forward together in order to secure their spot to speak to one of our attorneys at the firm. And the potential client started right away trying to negotiate and trying to haggle that amount. And you know, obviously we stood firm to what we know works, what we know works for our business, what we know works for us, what we know works for our clients in order to be able to meet with people who are serious about getting the help that they may very well need and who, at least at the surface, may want our help and we may be, at least at the surface, interested in helping them out. That's why we had that case evaluation to see if it's gonna be a good fit for them to wanna to work with us and for us to wanna to work with them. And if not, we send them on their way with much more information about what their options are and what they really should be doing to protect their future, their freedom, their reputation, whatever matters most to them in no particular order moving forward. But, you know, sometimes people get in and they start negotiating and they, they want to, you know, do this. I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, let's assume there's a situation where you're able to negotiate 30% down from what the initial price was, right? So if I go and I go buy a car and I want to buy a $100,000 car and I walk in and they say it's $100,000 and I say, okay, I'm going to get it down to, you know, 80000 or 75000 right? I walk out feeling great. Hey, I just negotiated these professionals. And I just got this car for, you know, 20%, 25% less than what they told me it was worth. Right? Great, great feeling. I've saved money, feel good about myself. But if you're, if you're interviewing a criminal defense law firm and you're able to negotiate that well against them, against their financial interests, against their business practices, how well of a negotiator is that firm? How well, how well of negotiators are those attorneys who may very well be representing you? And if they are that, let's use the word, unskilled when it comes to negotiating a fee for them to represent you the right way, with the right skill, with the right time investment, and to be able to run their business the right way, how weak are they going to be when it comes time to negotiate for your future, for your freedom, for what matters most to you? So short term, you may feel great, but long term, that may not be the right firm for you. Because when it comes time to deal with the prosecutor, when it comes time to deal with the judge, they may be motivated by other things that may cloud their judgment and they may not have the ability or the skills to effectively negotiate your case to get you the best outcome possible given the facts of the case, given the evidence, given the facts that can be proven beyond a reasonable doubt in court. Just something to keep in mind when you're interviewing and negotiating with criminal defense law firms or any law firm for that matter. If you have any questions about your case in San Diego County, please give my firm a call, 619-295-3555.